Aloha, bitches. Trigger warning. If you need a trigger warning, you're a giant bleeding pussy. Go jogging or something. Get off the couch, you fat fuck. Go outside, meet people, find someone of the opposite sex, and bang them. First of all, I am Comicsgate. I am not ex Comicsgate or anti Comicsgate. How can one be anti Comicsgate? Comicsgate is SJW free comics. All the guys EVS calls anti Comicsgate aren't. They are perfect examples of Comicsgate. They are indie guys and they aren't SJWs. EVS doesn't get to call people anti Comicsgate. He is absolutely strawmanning their positions. I don't know the people I'm defending. I don't even like some of them. And I have mentioned all the great things EVS has done to help small creators in Comicsgate and his various charity works. I have defended him many times, but that doesn't mean that I won't gently criticize him. I talk about Comicsgate. He is a big part of Comicsgate. No, that's not a fat joke. It would be impossible not to talk about him. EVS, gaslighting about Tim Lim, Mike Miller, etc. People aren't mad about not sharing a platform. Most people I talk to are saying the issue is with War Campaign. EVS is watching videos by JDA and his old friends Mike Miller, Doug Tenaple. Then he invites sycophants on to enforce his echo chamber. It's freaking bizarre. He titled the show Comic Skeet History, The Source of the Strife. EVS gets a guest on, I, I won't mention his name, to kiss his ass and say mean childish things about JDA, Tim Lim, and the rest. It's kind of cringy. They talk about everything but the non-stop harassment by war campaign. EVS, who people have called a Nazi for years, has no problem turning around and calling other people in Comicsgate far right. This is the same guy who writes My Struggle on artwork and signs his name with a certain symbol that looks suspiciously like a World War II symbol. Or at least if you're an SGW pussy, it does. EBS did mention a medium-type website where writers and artists could meet up and find each other. This actually sounds like a good idea. A comic skit is growing fast, and people finding each other right now is kind of difficult, so credit where credit is due. If someone wants to get to work on that, you can probably make a couple of bucks on advertising, at least enough to pay for it. Uh, can we just stop for a minute and realize that EVS has fought with, I don't know, a dozen people? Captain Cummings, Channel Zero X, Tim Lim, Nurkish, Ben Henderson, Douglas Ernst, Doug Knable, Mike S. Miller, JDA, Edwin Boyette, Nasser, Ro Kamir, and the guys in War Campaign. Is it possible, is it just possible, that the problem doesn't lie with everyone else? Perhaps there is an issue with the guy at the center of the drama. I mean, that's just Occam's razor, right? EVS d did something that I thought he was above. He started talking trash about other books in Comicsgate. If I didn't hear it for myself, I would have sworn that he was above that sort of thing. Because that's messing with people's money. EVS has a wildly successful campaign. I think it was almost as successful as Doug Tenaple's Bigfoot Bill comic. So when he attacks small creators who were just trying to feed their families, it looks kind of weird. I thought EVS was better than that. I thought about uh, titling this, Were the SJWs Right About EVS? But my god, I die inside every time I think that. Were the pig effing SJWs right about EVS? I can't believe we're even at that point of considering that. Have we misjudged EVS this whole time? God, what a thought. Don't get me wrong, the SJWs are wrong about 90% of the stuff they spurg out about. But just because they are evil doesn't mean that they're wrong about everything. Stalin was a bad guy who put 50 million of his own people in the ground, but he did build a pretty good military. Do I think EVS is an alt-right Nazi or just a far-right troll? Well, he is definitely a troll, but we're all trolls. That's just part of living in clown world. You have to be a clown to survive, or dare I say it, a joker. It's killing me to even entertain the notion that the SGWs are right about anything. My only consolation is that I really doubt Gail Simone or Wren is listening to this. But if they are, they're probably saying, See you MFers, we done told you. Whatever, Gail. EVS may be an asshole, but he's actually a pretty funny writer. At least he was in the 1990s, and I assume that he's improved. I didn't get cyber fraud because it's not my cup of tea. But it's funny, even if I did buy it, it still would not have been delivered. Got him. Sorry guys, I have the comedic skills of a great female comic, which means none at all. 
Still, at least I know it. People like Gail and Amy Schumer are so cringy because they think they're funny. No Gail, 40-year-old auntie humor isn't funny. Guys, remember back when Captain Cummings called EVS a gatekeeper? Most of us thought the captain was crazy. I think he was the first canary in the coal mine. If I remember right, EVS said Tim Lim's Trump Space Force wasn't a comics gate book because it was spouting politics. But before EVS started gatekeeping, we never even had the concept of gatekeeping book topics. Comics Gate was SGW free books, mostly by indie guys who were blacklisted by the, the industry. Uh, hence the title of uh, Miller's page, Black East Universe. Or would never get hired in the first place because they aren't anti-white communists. It was a vaguely right-of-center group. Think of the books that started Comics Gate. Jawbreakers and Iron Sights. The other important part of Comics Gate was respecting the customers. We were disgusted by the way the SJW pros were talking about Trump supporters. We only considered someone Comics Gate if they met the simple criteria of not being SJWs and not calling the customers Nazis. That's it. Tim Lim and Trump's Space Force is a perfect Comics Gate project. The idea that EVS would try and exclude Tim is shocking. I'm shocked, I tell you. That EVS would suggest to thousands of people in Comicsgate that Trump's Space Force wasn't something that we should be interested in is disgusting. It should have woken us up at the time. Only Captain Cummings saw it for what it was, gatekeeping. The only people we need to gatekeep are the SGWs. Tim is not an SJW, and he respects the customers. Of course he is Comicsgate. I think a lot of us underestimated Captain Cummings and his ridiculous hat. But he was amazingly prescient about things. I remember a long time ago, he made a video titled something like, Zack isn't the leader of Comicsgate. I thought that sounded a little passive-aggressive at the time, but now I realize it was smart of him to start laying out guidelines. Comicsgate doesn't have a leader. It's a collection of like-minded individuals. The only defining dogma, the absolute essential core, is SJW free. Because the SJWs already control the other 99.9% .9 of the industry. They have their place. We can't allow them to infiltrate and rot and corrupt our association. We are a small, fledgling organization. The idea that EVS would attack like-minded individuals is reprehensible. No wonder Tim was so pissed off. If you go back and watch the Comics Gate Gate video from a year ago, you'll see all the warning signs. The megalomaniacal need to control and exclude. Comics Gate was this loose association of guys. We never even considered gatekeeping someone who isn't an SJW. If you want to use Trump as a character, go for it. But EVS is thinking in terms of commercial success. And I get that. The widest possible reach is comics that don't include politics, but that isn't what Comicsgate is. It's also hypocritical of EVS to exclude the Dr. Tim Lim and then include Bill Clinton and Cyberfrog. Oh, but it's different when I do it. I would do as vocal fry, but I just don't have it in me. Uh, hey, EVS, you're acting like an SJW. DC kept <laughs> gate kept and excluded EVS from working there, and we we're all rightfully pissed off. Then EVS turned around and excluded Tim Lim, and only a few people had the balls to step forward and say, hey, we're having a problem with EVS. I want Comicsgate to be a little edgy. If we wanted to be vanilla-flavored pussies, we would just go back to licking the mainstream poon. I want a pussy with a little tang to it, a little bite. Okay, these analogies aren't working, are they? By making Comicsgate as commercial as possible, you're just making it soy. It sounds like you're trying to clone Marvel, but without the SJW's anti-white, anti-male stuff, which is cool. But there's room for Tim to include Trump, and there's room for you to include Bill and Hillary Clinton. It's pure soy of EVS to say that him talking about the Clintons is acceptable, but Tim talking about the Trumps isn't. Keep in mind the stuff with Tim Lim happened a year ago, and EVS is still attacking him. Because Tim had the audacity to dare defend himself. It has been a year, and EVS is still going after Tim Lim. Why? Has he run out of things to say about Captain Marvel and Star Wars? Their first disagreement was when EVS tried to gatekeep Tim from Comicsgate. Tim hasn't actually done anything to EVS other than defend himself. And I'm just going to be honest here, because probably nobody's going to get to the nine-minute mark. Um, in the beginning, and through much of Comicsgate, I was definitely on EVS's side, and uh Tim Lim kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Um, so, 
Uh, not anymore. I mean, he's, he, they're both they're both good guys. I'm just calling Tim's a nice guy. I'm just criticizing a little bit about EVS now because I think Comicsgate is a little bit of a course correction. So I don't understand why there's so so much hatred for this good old Southern boy who just wants to draw bunny books when he isn't riding horses around his plantation. In my mind, I envision Tim as a Colonel Sanders character, which is pretty weird because we all know what he looks like. Actually, if you ever read Black House by Stephen King, Tim's accent reminds me of the cannibal who ate children. Sorry, Tim. Black House was great. It's too bad Stephen King lost his freaking mind over Trump. So many millionaires hate Trump that he must be doing something right. I'm not sure what EVS wants Tim Lim to do to make peace. Tim can't apologize. He hasn't done anything. Why EVS is obsessing about Tim after a year is kind of hard to understand. So, EVS, what can Tim do to get you to stop attacking him? I see you fighting with JDA on Twitter, but that's more of a back and forth thing. That's two guys who really like to fight. Tim Lim is a peaceful bunny guy who just wants his cotton picked on time, or else you'll get a touch of the whip. I don't know Tim or EVS. This is just an opinion I've developed after watching this drama unfold. Actually, the uh, JDA EVS thing, there were weird fighting going back and forth. It's interesting, and there's some dark stuff going on, but I don't, I don't know how much of it I want to talk about, if any. Some things are just so weirdly dark that I just, I don't know if I want to go there. It's just kind of, yeah, I don't know. A lot of this stuff is, anyway, anyway, kind of makes you feel like you just want to go take a shower or wash my hands of the whole thing, but say fuck comics game and just walk away from it. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next episode.